it's an early start in South Yorkshire, it's about 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I've got a little plastic DK magpie set out on the tree just to dry inside. I've got a rabbit fur we had inside to lay down in the field at about 30 35 yards. I'm hoping they land in this tree from previous outings, but we'll see what happens and uh, see what turns up this morning. First off, uh, like usual session really starts uh, watching <laughs> wood pigeons and uh, so magpie fly off here in the distance. This one keeps about maybe 150 yards away so there's no chance of shooting these but it's good to observe them and see what's around in the area. That will keep actually quite a promising spot for future sessions so I'll keep an eye on that. So this is the uh, first visitor that comes in range from watching this wood pigeon. I notice these two magpies swooping. So I'll quickly get camera onto one. He's positioned at about 30 yards which is perfect. Just trying to get myself set up. He decides to fly about 5 yards further on. So it's about 35 yards. Again, I'm trying to get myself ready. But it's a bit wary this one and he susses so it's not quite right. And off he takes. Now the uh, the old spooks at this point, they managed to get themselves about 150 yards away again onto this fence post. Now there's about six or seven magpies in this group. I would imagine they're all like a family group. And uh, they sit on this barbed wire, sit on that post, and drop into the field. Now again, it's just good to observe them. A bit frustrating because it's so far away, but I think for a future session I'm going to have to try and get a little bit close to this area because they do like to hang around here. The only, the only concern is uh, it's quite an hot spot for rats in that area so I don't fancy sharing it edge row in, but if you use me, uh, me house a little bit then I should be able to come up with something that gets me in range. At this point I've probably been sat in a couple of hours now and although I'm watching everything at range it, it is becoming increasingly frustrating. This magpie and a, a duck together. It's unusual, I haven't seen that before myself but it grabs my attention. And again I'm, I'm still seeing these magpies all over this uh, muck heap. There's two or three in this uh, area. I can't quite pick them all up on camera but I can just show you distance now that I'm looking at. Again, I'm uh, at Wood Pigeon Land's Beam range. So I'm just waiting for it to uh, settle down and present me with a decent shot. This is at about 35 yards. I'm just waiting for him now. He turns full frontal. The cops for a day state FT 10.251.177 pellet, square inch chest. Now this movement it, uh, attracts magpies straight away, which gives me an idea. If you can create some movement in your pattern with magpies, you've seen how frustrating these were to get close. As soon as there was some sort of movement or distress, they were there. So I'm going to try and uh, come up with something for this and see what I can come up with to try and create that movement. If you've got any suggestions, let me know. I've got two magpies here. I focused on one in the foreground and took him out with a heart and lung shot. I quickly uh, turned my attention to this one to the left hand side, it looks like one of this year's youngsters, you can tell with uh, like a plumage on its head basically. He hops back in to have a look at his fallen comrade and take a look at wood pigeon on the floor. I don't know what goes wrong there, it was a bad shot. I quickly follow up with a second shot and put him to rest. This, uh, this brings the third one. Curious why two of his comrades are falling. So I'm just tracking him. Another youngster about look at his head. Now take him cleanly. 
but not a long shot. I'll just give you a quick look in my eye. See me a uh, cup of coffee there. Coffee's always a must. Got my R10 just down in the corner waiting. This is made up of about four pallets, five pallets, one at roof, and some other bits of wood. Built it into edge row, and it's, it's blended in nice. That's my little shooting window. Got my jack pallet shooting bag. So on handy cam. Now, this rabbit, I'm gutted because I took him at about 43 yards, but I never pressed record. So I'll just show you how, how far away he were. Nice, nice headshot. Uh, brains in his ears. Quite a lot of clarity on the floor. If I just pan around, I'll show you how the edge row. Like I said, I pissed it out 43 yards. Just a shame I didn't press record for you to see. Here's a little bit of extra footage for you. I fell on a warehouse roof, straight down, about 50 yards. I've got a wood pigeon at trough from the other week. It was just a single shot, this. Straight back at head, spine shot. And here's one from farmyard in the city tree that you'll see me shoot before. Another wood pigeon down. 